The White Ram, a story of Abraham and Isaac. Written and illustrated by Mordecai Gerstein. Legend tells us that on the last day of the creation, in the twilight of the first Sabbath, God made a white ram. He put the ram in the Garden of Eden and said, Wait here until I call you. And there the ram waited. Adam and Eve, the first man and the first woman, disobeyed God and had to leave Eden. They became parents and farmers, but the ram stayed and waited. The ages passed. Other creatures left the garden. Stars were born and stars died. Still the ram waited. He waited till the morning God woke him and said, Today is the day. And the ram jumped up and began to run. He knew what he had to do. The evil one appeared and said, Stop! Don't leave this beautiful garden! It will mean your death! But the ram said, I must save the child. And he ran out of Eden. He ran over hills of rocks and boulders. He knew where he was going. And the evil one appeared disguised as a field of green grass. Stop here, he said. Eat and rest. There's no need to hurry. But the ram replied, I must save the child. And he ran faster. He ran on and on over dry and dusty deserts. And the evil one appeared disguised as a cool sparkling fountain and sang, Stop, drink deep of me and rest. There's no hurry. I can't stop, cried the ram. I must save the child. And on he ran. He ran through dark swamps and tangled jungles, and the evil one appeared disguised as a fierce lion and roared, Stop, or I'll tear you to pieces and devour you. But the ram replied, I must save the child. And he leapt over the lion and ran on. The ram ran until he came to the sacred mountain. At the top he saw a child tied and bound on an altar, and a weeping man. Wait, cried the ram, running faster. I am here. Take me. But the evil one, disguised as a bush of brambles, caught the ram's horns and said, You shall go no farther. The ram struggled and cried, Abraham, I am here. Take me. But the man, Abraham, did not hear. Then the ram heard the voice of God say to Abraham, Stop! I asked you to sacrifice your only son, Isaac, to test your love and trust in me. Now, instead of Isaac, sacrifice this ram. I made him in the twilight of the last day of the creation for this moment to take Isaac's place on this altar. And Abraham heard the voice of God, and untied Isaac, who jumped up joyfully. But Lord, said Abraham, why did you have to test me? You know all things. You knew that I would do anything you asked, even give you my only son. I knew said the Lord, but I wanted the whole world to see your love and your trust in me, so that all people might follow your example. And Abraham said, Lord, in times to come, remember my love and forgive the sins of Isaac and his children and his children's children's children. Abraham freed the ram from the brambles and the ram leapt onto the altar. Abraham, said the ram, on New Year's Day, Rosh Hashanah, 
blow through one of my horns, and God will hear the sound, and remember Isaac and me, the white ram that took his place, and he will forgive the sins of Isaac and his children and his children's children's children, always, till the end of time. Then the ram lay down on the altar, and his soul flew into God's hands. And from the ram's ashes, the mortar for the altar of the great temple was made. And from his bones on that mountain, the foundations of Jerusalem were made. And from his bowels, the ten strings of King David's harp were made. And from his hide, the prophet Elijah made a cape. And from his horns were made two shofars, one was blown when Moses received the Ten Commandments, and the other will call the children of Israel home. And now, when the sound of the ram's horn is heard on Rosh Hashanah, we remember Isaac and Abraham. And we remember the white ram that now and forever grazes in the fields of heaven. The end.